Good evening, brothers and sisters. So, I'm about to be in episode two of The Last Evangelist with David Hefner. Seen him, got a whole bunch of legalized Jesus shirts to bring back to Alabama. Now I know why I had that dream vision with Dana Coverstone. I'm going to tell you the dream I had and I'm going to tie it in with scripture. Go to Bible. All right. The dream setting is, it was like a, a warehouse. But it looked like the inside was like a church. Well, people from Dana Coverstone's church was asleep. They was distracted by cell phones. And, uh, and my people that I've been trying to reach in Alabama was too worried about getting high and drugs and and they they had the spirit of fear on them because they wasn't walking in spirit. Well, me and Dana Coverstone look outside and there's three tornadoes about to form with three funnel clouds. And each one was bigger than the other. It was one big one and a bigger one and then the third one was humongous. Storms were coming. And me and Dana Coverstone was looking outside and we don't have the spirit of fear in us. He's like, we rebuke these storms in the blood of the Lamb. Well, we look behind us and everybody's scared and what we gonna do? And me and Dana Coverstone's looking at each other like, we got Jesus, we, we mean what we're going to do. Now, when I went to his church, he talked about one third of the Methodist uh, congregation leaving the committee of the, like the Methodist church because they're allowing false doctrine in the church. And it's about where the leaders at, where's the voices at to speak against sin and abominations. My church and his church, I don't care if it offends y'all. Guess what? We're not allowing drag queens to come in there. We're not allowing uh, same-sex marriage. You don't like it, pray about it. Y'all need to use discernment. But it ties into scripture. I'm going to First John chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 18. Now listen, little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. I'm going to pause. These are the last days. Why aren't you walking in spirit? Why aren't you preaching and teaching against false doctrine and doctrines of devils. It's time to rise. God's trying to wake the church up. Are y'all awake? They went out from us, but they were not of us. If they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest, that they were not all of us. <clears throat> but ye have an unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth, but because ye know it, and that no lie is of the truth. Who is a liar? But he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledged the Son hath the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you, which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue in the Son and in the Father. You know the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Listen. 
Where's the leaders at? Where's the true pastors, preachers, prophets, etc.? Where y'all at? Thank God we're not prosperity pimps. Thank God we don't preach and teach false doctrine. I'm going to stand with Dana Coverstone. I'm going to stand with Geno Jennings. I'm going to stand with Charles Lawson. I'm going to stand with Carter Collin. I'm going to stand with the true saints of God. What you waiting on? It's time to abide in Jesus Christ. We need to, we need to legalize Jesus. What y'all too worry about legalizing false doctrines in the wind? What y'all going to do when the wrath of God comes for you? What you going to do when the judgments of God are right at your doorstep and your doormat abide in Christ? We ain't talking about no Book of Mormons and all the all those false prosperity preachers. We're not we're not going that route. Yeah, we're going to heaven. Repent daily, resist daily. It's real simple. We don't have time to be making up excuses why I'm stumbling every day. Why you stumbling every day, you know? Like the book of Job. Don't worry about my sins. Worry about you yourselves because there is judgment coming. You're going to accept it real soon. We ain't got too much more time. As for me, I know my Redeemer lives and he will stand upon earth at last. Y'all rhyme with Jesus Christ or you rhyme with that stupid devil? You rhyme with the agenda and the propaganda and the narratives, the false narratives, the mind control, the programming you. Stop getting these too. I'm going I'm to preach against it. I'm that new troublemaker in town for the devil and his people. Scroll on if you don't like it. Cut through the devil while you still got grace time. Because grace time's on those up, saints. Believers, unbelievers, you better hit your knees. Either way, you're going to hit your knees and bow down to the king. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is coming to flesh. And y'all ain't stopping it. Trump ain't stopping it. Biden ain't stopping it. Your government ain't stopping it. That The alphabet crews ain't going to stop it. Ha ha. Jesus got this. God's hands on everything. You don't like it? Pray about it. Dear God, they have ears to hear, let them hear it. They got eyes to see, let them pay attention. Please, Lord. Don't let them try to red flag this video like they've done in the past. In Jesus' almighty name, forgive us of our known unknown sins. Thank you for our salvation and redemption. Please, God, show them what you have been showing us. Show them what you showed me. In Jesus' almighty name, in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Yeshua HaMashiach, amen. Y'all better go to God. You better stop listening to all those false doctrines and follow this king james bible boy girl witch warlock all you lost folks out there are you unbelievers y'all ain't got too much more time you don't see what's going on and with your politics you don't see what's going on with the narrative you don't see what's going on overseas you don't see what's going on in the spirit realm i told you months ago it's done shifted what y'all gonna do go to god you ain't got too much more time believe that Amen.